Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be installing a automatic light switch for my UP GTI. This is something you can option from the factory, however it does cost like 150 quid. So I'm just going to install this one I got off of eBay. It cost me about 20 quid and I'll show you how to install it right now. Alright, first things first, we need to remove the old one. So I've got some tools over here, I've got some trim removal tools. And we're going to get to work on removing that now. After a lot of wiggling with my hand, I've finally got this out. So what you want to try and do is you want to try and get your hand in from the side where it was here. And then try and release these two um, clips that hold it in place. The top ones are easy enough to get to, but this bottom one's a bit of a nightmare. I have to use one of these little, um, these tiny little trim tools to really get in there and get it out, which helped me a lot. So I recommend picking up some trim removal tools if you're going to do this job. Now we can install our automatic light switch, but before that, we do need to hook up our um, sensor to the roof somewhere so this can work. So what this sensor does, it's a little pass through on your original and then you hook up the sensor to the roof and it basically senses if it's dark or light, depending on which will turn the lights on or off. So I'm thinking what we do is we route it, somehow come out of here, up this pillar here and then have it on the roof here. So hopefully you shouldn't be able to see it when driving and it should be very discreet. So we'll go to a time lapse of me trying to do that now. Okay, I've just finished tucking away the cable behind this um, rubber seal here, so it goes all the way up here, across this bit here, and you run under the roof lining, and then you can just about see the sensor just here. I haven't glued, uh, stuck it on yet, but it's got some double-sided tape to stick it down to the roof. So now, all I need to do is put the switch into the socket, and then hook up the um, port on the back, Put this plastic piece back on the side and I think we're good to go and we can test it to see if it works. So this should just be as easy as just popping it back in, hopefully. And then those two clamps should clip in. Like so. Perfect works fine now all we need to do is plug it in so let's open the door here we go here's the plug here i've wired it up already as you can see into the sensor and we just need to find the hole okay the cable is now in place let's see if i can you can just about see that there, yeah. plugged in. Hopefully now we should have automatic lights. Okay, as you can see now, I have now started the engine up and the lights, the auto light has come on, which means it should be working. The only way to test this for sure is to wait for it to be night time. So we'll come back when it's dark and hopefully we will have lights. Now we know everything's working, all we need to do now is put this um, plastic on the side and we're good to go. So, this, oh, I've accidentally knocked that with my leg. So this plastic goes in front first and then just line up the clips and it should clip straight back into place. Like so, there we go, perfect. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Alright, bye for now.